Hello everyone. We will start with the new topic that is module pool programming. Module pool programming is also called as dialog programming. It is a pool of modules. A module pool programming is a pool of modules. Now the question comes, what are those modules? Those modules can be screens, can be includes, can be transaction course. And whenever we we'll start with the practical part, you will see we have lots of modules. So a module pool programming is a pool of modules and mainly a module pool is a pool of screens. Once we'll start with the practical part, you will see everything we are doing based upon the screens. So what is module pool? It is also called as dialogue programming. It is a pool of modules. Those modules can be anything. It can be your screens. It can be your includes. It can be your transaction course. And we have so many other things also. And mainly it is a pool of screens. Now, what we will do? We will start with the requirement and whenever the theory part will come, we will discuss in between that. We will start with a very simple module pool program. We will create a simple program, module pool program, in which we have two screens. Suppose first screen number is 100 and the second screen number is 200. From the 100 screen, we will navigate to 200 screen. From the 200 screen, we will navigate to 100 screen. We will start with a very, very basic module pool program in which we will create two screens. And from one screen, we will navigate to second screen. And from the second screen, we will navigate to first screen. This is our requirement. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will start with the module pool program. I will give some name to the module pool program. I will click on to create button. I will give some short description to the module pool program. Suppose to display the order details. Now I will choose the type as module pool program. I will go to save. I will store it as a local object. And now I will activate a program. And you can see it is our module pool program. Whenever you are creating a module pool program, the keyword is program. Whenever you are creating a executable program, the keyword is report. Whenever you are creating a module pool program, the keyword is program. I will click on to the button display object list, which will navigate us to object navigator. This is our SC80 transaction code. So from SC38, we navigated to SC80. It will be very easy because module pool is a pool of modules. So it will be very easy to see or look at each and everything through SC80. We'll start with our requirement. I will create two screens in this particular program. From the first screen, 
we will navigate to second screen and from the second screen we will navigate to first screen. so i will create two screens i will right click on the program create screen suppose my first screen number is 100 i will give some short description to the screen suppose it is my header details now every screen has three tabs or we can say every screen has three parts what are those three parts attributes element list flow logic every screen has three parts or three tabs attributes element list flow logic now what is attribute attributes always give the generic information of the screen now what do you mean by generic information means what is the description of the screen what is the last change what is the type of the screen so what will be the package of the screen so attributes tab always give the generic information means what is the description of the screen what is the type of the screen who created this screen what is the last change of the screen so all this generic information is the part of your attributes tab now what is element list as of now element list is blank because we have not designed anything on the screen so what is element list the term itself is suggesting whatever the elements you will design on the screen that will be the part of your element list now what is the third tab third tab is flow logic word itself is suggesting we will write the logic in the flow logic tab so we have three tabs for a particular screen what are those three tabs attributes will give the generic information element list whatever you will design on the screen it will be the part of your element list and flow logic its purpose is to write the logic now we created the first screen and i provided the short description to the first screen i will save this and you can see we have one module of screens i will right click and create another screen also 0 200 is suppose my second screen i will give the short description to the second screen suppose my second screen description is item details and i will click on to save button so what we did we started with a module pool program in that module pool program we created two screens one is our 100 screen and one is our 200 screen so what is the summary of this particular video we learned what is module pool programming it is a also called as dialog programming it is a pool of screens mainly it is a pool of screens we created a module pool program through sc38 transaction code and we created two screens into that particular module pool program the first screen is we gave the description header details second screen we gave the description item details and every screen has three tabs attributes element list and flow logic rest part will continue in the next video thank you